a very good afternoon my name is alok shrivastava and i welcome you once again in this very hot delhi weather to network nuts youtube channel at least there is no hot weather on youtube as you can see here like uh, if we are having somewhere around 41 degrees celsius right now and it's real hot here so what's in this video guys apart from the hot weather in delhi okay you can see uh, the amazing wallpaper there <laughs> on my laptop this is uh, those who are from india need uh, no introduction of for this man so i'm eagerly awaiting for buddha hoga tera baap so uh, being a very ardent bachchan fan obviously i'm waiting for the movie so what you are waiting for here guys obviously you are waiting for a video a new video so what's in today's video apart from this harley davidson and big b showing up here cool man cool but the weather is hot i can tell you this so in this video i am going to show you how to use sar and gnu plot for graphical reporting this is a very beautiful tool using the sar that you can collect your uh, system data and then you can have a graphical plotting of that in, uh, of that information for, for proper reporting so let's see how to use this i'm going to show you a very small and easy way to use the sar and the gnu plot for graphical reporting once again for this video i have my trusted virtual machine here with you so let's open up a terminal first thing first i need to install the package for the sar so i can do uh, very easily yum install sar and gnu plot gnu plot will be used for the graphical reporting and sar will be used for collecting the data so just press enter here and hope everything will work properly that's great everything is working fine i'm sorry uh, actually i'm sorry i done uh, i'm i think it's a hangover for the big b the sar is actually a part of the sysstat package sorry 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 guys sorry okay let's do it again so here it comes gnu plot and sysstat so sar will be part of the sysstat package so just do a yes here the packages will get installed if you have a, a proper yum server and a yum client configured with you now once the package is in, is uh, installed i will just show you a brief information about uh, about the sar though you can uh, easily devote your time to read the manual there sar is actually it collect report and save your system activity reporter it's actually the name says so i i can use the sar in this particular video i'm using the sar to collect my cpu information so i can give the command sar hyphen u hyphen u will be used for collecting the cpu data you can use r for your memory and other things that you can easily do a man and read that out i hope that can be done fine i'm so i'm just uh, using sar hyphen u 1 and 10 that means for every interval of 1 second repeat the activity for 10 times means for 10 seconds it it is going to give me the output i'll first show you here look it gives me after the interval of 1 second my cpu activity that will comes the timing the nice value the io and all those things and if you see here here the clock is coming at 24 hour clock by default it will come at a 12 hour clock will show you am pm but that won't um, make sense so what i had done actually i had done a small tweak here just open up your bash rc file and just write this entry alias sar is equal to language is equal to csar that makes the timing come in 24 hour format instead of the traditional 12 hour or am pm for am pm format so after this if i had given this command you see there that the output is coming after every interval of 1 second for 10 times so what i will do here for this video sake i'll just uh, make it slightly small to give you a much better view i hope it it will be visible here that's good that's much better you can see there so all this information is is coming up that is being collected by the sar so this is the time the headers so what i can easily do i i can redirect this output to some file name so i'll i'll make it slightly uh, bigger now that's it say my 
okay I give CPU info dot out any file name so now the same or a different and if if I'm uh, doing some activity here at this time obviously these values are going to change that is good just wait now if I show you the file here vi cpu info dot out it has got the same information but might be with some different values look here the values got changed here that is cool now just a moment okay now what I need to do I for the uh, for the sake of understanding I'm just copying this uh, CPU info file to some other file say my CPU info dot out why I had done this I'll show you now what I what you need to do is that you need so the original file will remain the same that is the CPU info dot out now what you need to do before using the GNU plot and for taking all these values in a graphical format you need to remove the non numeric values so what I will do because it's a, a very simple file I'll just open my CPU info and you can see there the two two files must be coming up here my CPU info and the CPU info so I'll uh, use the CPU info one I'll open up CPU info file and remove the non numeric values means this line and this line I can make it smaller for uh, to make it easier for you to understand so I may I, I will remove this line escape DD 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 and remove the last line it's a non numeric value DD so, th so this is the actual data that is being required by me and if you see there it's actually divided into co like columns column number one two three four 5678 so though you can remove the all all uh, also means the column number 2 but I'm not going to use this if you wish you can remove this I'll save and come out now just copy the file or move the file as you wish I'll move it CPU info to say CPU info dot dat that's great now what now I have a dat file that is my CPU info dot dat that contains the data without any non numeric characters that's good now I can use the GNU plot I'll make it bigger now here for you the main file is CPU info dot dat now the things are very easy for me I can easily use the GNU plot to have a uh, graphical representation of this data so that will really make my job very easy let me show you how to do th this I'll just write here GNU plot as the package is already installed now you've got a different prompt here set X data time set time format you need to remember these commands now it's the format of the time in which I want our minute and seconds I, I want my uh, the graph to represent the time the form the format I can also set the label X label will be obviously my time and set Y label will be my CPU or whatever title you wish to give that's great then I can use plot and what was my file name let me check I forget I'm getting old my file name is CPU info dot dat that's great so I give here plot CPU info dot dat now what information you want to plot just open the original file if you remember I have the original file with with me that is my my CPU info dot out that contains information in a and the headers also S sorry here it is just be patient yeah okay. so I, I want the say user time to be displayed in the graph as well as the system times means for me it's column number one two three means three and five isn't it fine so three is the user and five is the system let's do it now I open this plot this one using one colon three 
I can give with lines if you do this and press enter here you can see there here it comes these are the values the graph with lines will show you the line CPU info dot that using one three dot lines the time is coming up here the CPU is coming up here and it is actually showing you the user the percentage user time just check it out here that's it one then it goes to fifth one zero six point eight three seat zero one six point eight so these values are, are coming that is great so uh, in this manner I can have the graphical representation of my data you can add more values to it let's do it so I if you want more values so you need to use replot say after the column number three I want column number three four five uh, three four five I want column number five also so what to do just write re replot then the same file name obviously because the data is going to be uh, fetched from the same file name the new column with lines you can also use the title also like title and the title what was the title for this column the title is system so I can write here system with lines let's check it out again wow that is good now if you see here this is the system time that is coming up uh, 26 18 23.47 these values are being displayed here so in this manner you can have a uh, very uh, beautiful representation of your data or any activity collected via SAR but the thing is that I can do this that's not a, a problem you can easily make a file for this and instead of typing it on the command prompt you can f uh, redirect the GNU plot to get the information from that file so let's do it so instead of doing this I do a quit here what I'm doing here I'm creating a file say the file name will be say CPU plot dot, dot G plot make sure the extension should be G plot okay now write the same things here like set X data time set time format you need to uh, remember this percentage hour minute seconds set X label say time set Y label say CPU and then uh, say plot what was the file name uh, let me check I'm getting old actually CPU info dot that so I give their plot CPU info dot that now using one colon three title the title of the third column is one two three user so that is why I had copied that file user percentage with lines now you need to do replot replot cpu info dot dat using one column five title what was the title for the fifth column one two three four five system system percentage with lines and I, I can use one more it solely depend on you that using let me there's a five six seven eight let's check it out for the eight also one colon eight title what was the title for this idle idle time idle percentage with lines that's it in the manner just keep on doing this save come out now what clear the screen now use the GNU plot and the, your file name what was the file name CPU plot dot G, G plot oh it came and it gone gone with the wind no if I just need to write one option here persist that will make my day really cool though it is very hot here in Delhi hoo ha wow this is amazing see there every piece of information or whatever piece of information I want the 
GNUplot to display me in the graphical format is right here on my screen. So friends, I just given you uh, a very small video regarding the capabilities of the SAR and the GNUplot. So as usual, I'm just giving you an idea of what are the possibilities you need to dig and explore more and you're always welcome and I'm always uh, waiting for your comments good or bad or whatever so by this I end this video I hope you like this very much thank you very much for seeing me and the videos God bless